In this workflow, we will cover the deep steered median filter, which is an amplitude and edge preserving smoothing filter. It enhances the lateral continuous events by removing the random noise without the smearing spikes. This facilitates the structural interpretation and improves the auto tracker performance. We open the attribute engine from analysis attribute 3D or from the attribute icon 3D. Select the attribute deep steered median filter. The input data will be the original seismic. The step out we will set it to 1 1. We'll see later on how to optimize this value. For the steering data, we select three steering background, set the output to filter and provide an output attribute name, DSMF, for deep steered median filter and add as a new. For QC purpose, we can generate as well a residual, which is the difference between the deep steered median filter and the original seismic. We can give a name, DSMF residual, and add as a new. We keep this window open, we move it to the side, then go to the scene in the tree, right click on the inline, add and select data, stored, and select the original seismic, display. To evaluate the deep steer the median filter step out, we go back to the 3D attribute set window, select the SMF, the evaluation icon, set the initial value to 00, zero. we keep the increment to 1 and the number of step to 5 and calculate. Once the computation is finished, we move the windows to the side, zoom in, move the slider to change the step out value and see the impact in the 3D scene. Once we reach the optimum value, for example 22, we can display the residual for additional QC so we go back to the inline, add attributes, and select DSMF residual, OK. So we can see only a random noise was removed, no reflector. And by ticking off the residual, we can constate that not too much smearing was applied comparing with the original seismic. So once this step out is optimized, we can accept. Once we are satisfied with the parameters and the result of the deep steered median filter, we can process this attribute as a volume. So under processing, create seismic output, attribute, single attribute, 3D and we select the SMF as quality to output and we type the output cube the SMF and we run. The multi attribute window pops up so we select the deep steer the median filter and we OK. Once the process finished you can close the create attribute window the processed attribute volume is seen under the seismic manager and go to the uh, tree, remove the existing display and add go to store and select the new created volume DMSF and OK. So we can see that the deep steered median filter has removed the random noise and have enhanced as well the lateral continuity of seismic events by filtering along the structural deep. 
This concludes this workflow showing how to calculate a deep-steered median filter.